house 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 You too. What's good, family? So, this is my boy Josh's little whip right here. Uh, we finally about to start on the box. We're gonna do a fourth order uh, for some American base hawks. They fifteen hundred watts RMS a piece. I think they got three inch coils, direct leads. It should be decent. It's good. That's a good bit of room in the car. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna start on this. Damn, I left the key in the house. I can't get in the trunk. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna start on this. He's already got a uh, 3K, I think a Stanson amp or a Terra amp. I ain't even really sure. I didn't even look at it. I know it's. Matter of fact, he got both, but one's on the mids and highs and one's on the twelves. So yeah. I already got the other box out. It's sitting up there. I already put the pulled the subs out of that box. As you seen, I just showed you subs. Um uh, we got the design and everything already worked out as you can see. So yeah. I'm about to go ahead and get started and do some cuts. Got my wood there and got most of my other material there. So, yeah, stay tuned in. Let's see what we can get done. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's see if we can get this thing winging. Let's get it.
All right, family. So, as you can see in the time lapse, first sheet of wood, still got a good bit of scrap right there, but basically, top, bottom, they cut off pretty clean. You'll see what I cut it with. Rip it pretty quick. That was actually only a four minute time lapse. So, yeah. I did that pretty quick. Here's both of the sides. Those pretty clean too. So now, all I gotta do is cut two baffles. And um, I gotta cut two balconies and then cut the front and the back and uh, cut the port. I'll probably use all those scrap pieces to cut the port because I got some pretty big scrap pieces here. This piece is pretty big, so that's probably more than likely gonna be. I don't know, I have to measure it that way. If it's wide enough, it could possibly be a front or a back, but more than likely, I'm counting on it being a port. And um, this fresh sheet here, all I got to cut off of the fresh sheet is a front, a back, and two baffles. And then I can start cutting the port. The port's going to be really long, and it's going to be L-shaped inside the box. And I'll probably do some 45s on the ported side, probably not on the sealed side, of course. But um, yeah, stick with me. Um, I'm gonna go get me something to drink and I'm gonna turn this thing back on time lapse and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, measure out that next sheet of wood and uh, cut out that front and the back and those two baffles. So let's get it. TNG baby. family as you've seen in the time lapse i was getting some more cuts done now i have the top the bottom the two sides the front and the back and i have oh i can't see that my bad you guys poor light and poor light but uh here is the two baffles or whatever um i'm gonna use this big section over here to do the outline of the trunk so i have a solid base or whatever and hopefully these scraps over here is enough to do the ports or whatever because I'm gonna need two L-shaped port pieces that way I won't have to do any supports because the port will be the supports and yeah it'll be double baffled so we should be ready to go I'll have this little script going down through here all the way over there to do the port and whatever I have left after doing the trunk liner out of that big section right there I can also throw in the pile for the port because this is all I need for my two baffles so yeah stay tuned in I'm gonna catch y'all on part two and part two I should be assembling I might do assembly and install it just depends on how long it takes because I ain't figured out yet if I'm going to have to build it inside the trunk or if i won't be able to slide it in i'm gonna have to take the side pieces and try to slide them in and see how hard or easy it is to slide them in if they go in easy then i might be able to put the box together on the outside 
and it'll go a lot quicker. If not, then I'm gonna have to Craig jig everything. I'm gonna have to sand down some shit and you know, make it happen. But stay tuned in, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're looking out for part two because I haven't seen many boxes with these hawks, uh, especially fourth order. I don't think I've seen any fourth order boxes with these hawks. So I could be wrong. I didn't do a lot of looking. So it is what it is. If you've seen one, you've seen one. I haven't. And to my knowledge, this is the first one. And even if it ain't the first one, it's the first one with my numbers on it. So stay tuned in so you can see how it performs. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's get it.